What's going on guys? Chris here, back with another video today. And today is a pretty unique and, and, and special one, I'd say, man. We are at a place called CS Craft Sports, located here in South Florida, um, Naples, Florida to be exact. And they sell a lot of JDM cars, primarily Skylines. Um, I did see that they had an NSX in here. Um, I did see they had an 8086 in here before, um, a Supra, but they're mainly Nissan, GTR, Skyline. Um, I have been told that the owner is from Japan and he came here to South Florida. And once he arrived, he actually liked it and decided to open up a shop here in South Florida. He has his main shop over in Japan where they, they just primarily specialize in nothing but GTRs from what I've been told and heard. So that's pretty cool. So um, we're gonna go inside, man. I'm gonna show you guys, walk around the showroom, show you guys what kind of cars they have, the vehicles they have here. Um, and just give you guys a little bit of a taste of Japan and South Florida, man. So guys, stick around. Make sure you guys hit that like, subscribe, and uh, we'll get to it. Like I said, a little a little taste of Japan in South Florida. Naples, Florida to be exact, guys. They keep this place insulated. It's insulation on the roof, insulation on the walls, because it's very humid here in South Florida. So they keep they keep it, you know, very well maintained and, and clean in here for the humidity primarily just to keep the cars in, in stable and well conditioned so we're gonna start over here in the corner guys um yo is that a oh my gosh they they still have it it's the true Leno, guys look at that <laughs> So we're gonna start on this side first, guys, and we'll make our way over to the other side. This is a 93 Toyota Trueno GT Apex. Twin cam. Man, this thing is beautiful. Now, guys, I don't know too much about body kits and, 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 and you know, different lips and stuff like that. So bear with me on, on the names and brands and different things as far as that goes. I don't know too much about them. The Trueno logo, guys. Look at that. Oh, man. It's beautiful. It is absolutely gorgeous, man. Move on to the Civic over here. The Hattie. Now, the body kit on this thing is fucking insane look at the wheels on that the wheels are ooh. yes sir now from what i from what i know guys they don't ship cars personally for people they just have an inventory so pretty much like what you see here in the showroom is what is available pretty much um like i said they pretty much primarily Specialize in GTRs, but look, like I said, you'll find a Trueno here. You got your Honda here. You got, I don't even know what this is another. Is this another? Oh, okay. It's a, it's an MR2, 97 MR2. Beautiful, beautiful. Oh man. Beautiful car guys. And the white, I love the white. I must say, I love the white. Look at the rear hood. Oh man, that is that is gorgeous. That is so nice. Beautiful wheels. Moving up. Oh, just ran into the wall there. <laughs> I just knocked the whole wall down there over. Yes, this car is gorgeous as well, man. Now, what is this here? This is a 94 Toyota Celica. And like I said, guys, every car here, 
right hand drive right hand drive the other two i just showed you as well right hand drive and that is what i really really love about these cars it is really really japan you know what i mean like really japan like and i'm i'm so into the culture i'm so you know i want to go visit japan so bad so just to be able to come around these cars and be this close to what the car scene of japan is you know like this is this is so amazing to me guys i i must say now both these rds right here are just insane they got the they got the ketchup red and then they got the mustard yellow sitting right behind it man. You, you, you can't you really can't get no better than that like ah oh, the rds man now the yellow one i must say that yellow one is initial d all the way if you guys have ever seen the anime initial d if you haven't seen it make sure you go watch it man it's a very very good car enthusiast anime but that yellow fd right there is initial d all the way all the way definitely gonna go get a better look at that one as well but this red you can't you can't beat the the racing red pretty much man that's what i like to call it that good racing red it kind of reminds me of at least the color anyway it reminds me of that that racing red that uh in the movie i think it was nutty professor when uh when eddie murphy was driving that viper that red viper and eddie uh i almost said in eddie murphy in the movie nutty professor man he was driving that red viper and this red is just giving me that that vibe right now gotta get the rx7 on that Ugh, beautiful man beautiful man the wheels this is a 1992 rx7 right here man a 92 look, look the years on these cars guys the years on these cars and how well they are maintained and kept is insane it's insane like you can tell they've either been kept garage kept for sure or just pretty much you know held as i want to say like a trophy almost you know what i mean a collector's item pretty much you know and honestly if i had one of these cars it would be that exactly that pretty much so now let's get over here to this initial d yellow f d right here man my goodness with the wheels i must say a lot of the wheel selection on these cars i, I like because it, it it matches the you know it matches a lot of the look for sure ah oh, this has to be one of my favorite cars here this is a 97 rx 30th anniversary right here guys 30th anniversary with 127,000 miles on it i would buy this oh my gosh it'll be my initial d collectible <laughs> it would be my initial d collectible right here sorry about that glare trying to not really get the glare too much but wow guys wow right hand right hand steer you just don't get better you don't get no no better than this man at all wow man one day guys one day the skyline first but i really do like these fds man they're beautiful cars moving on we have the sylvia guys the sylvia guys Ugh, the sylvia man it is a 96 with 78k miles on it not bad at all a 96 was still less than a hundred thousand miles in this condition a sylvia at that guys my gosh dude sheesh man guys i have to say i'm just really excited that i came i'm happy that i came here i came here once before but i was only literally in here for like 10 minutes because one of my homies told me about the spot and I just wanted to come through and just see what they were talking about, see what it was about, and actually see if it was okay to come back to actually make this vlog and this video for you guys. So I'm pretty, I'm pretty, I'm pretty, pretty, pretty stoked that I am here today, guys. Cannot lie, man. Right hand side drive. That is the main thing I'm like tripping off on on all these cars. I want a car like that so bad. 
and that's another reason you know why i didn't want to come here today you know just kind of just kind of speak some of this stuff into the universe you know you never know man you never know you, you put yourself around things that you want in life and hey man they come literally now to this this color i don't know exactly what color this is because it's, it's like a mix between a white and a gray um it says body color or it says white well it says white but this is like a I want to say this is more like a cream white because it's kind of in between gray and white, you know, it, it's beautiful, though. It is beautiful. Look at the interior. Oh, my. Fuck. Oh, my gosh. Wow. No, that is not the reflection from this yellow FD. This has yellow interior, guys. That thing is beautiful, man. Oh, a 93. Uh, with 135 miles, 135,000 miles on it, man, it is nice. It is nice, yo. Look at the wheels. Hold on, let me get up and close on the wheels for you guys. Oh yes! Wow! Wow! That interior though has definitely got me. Look, got your look at you got your roll cage inside. What is, is that roll cage? I don't even know what those bars are. <laughs> I don't even know what these bars are, guys, but man look has the 2000s look like it has some 2000s gauges up there from like the 2000s that's that's nostalgic i i definitely rock with that for sure the hood scoop is insane look at that look at that oh my gosh the carbon wow 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 she is a beauty guys and now we got the skyline Say, that's why i came i want to try to speak it into the universe manifest it i wore my nismo shirt today my first time wearing this shirt too i haven't even worn this shirt at all i bought it it's been in the pack since i i bought it like i haven't even worn the shirt i thought why not today it'd be a great day to bring the shirt out at a place like this for sure you know and then come in here and make this content for you guys and show you guys what, what they're about so we're gonna go to the back side over here like I said, guys, this is probably one of the, one of my favorites sitting in here right now, Pro mainly because of the color, for sure. I believe this one is a 32. I believe this is a 30. Yes, 32. Okay, I'm, I'm getting them down, guys. I'm, <laughs> I'm getting them down. I'm getting the 32, 33s, and 34s. You know, I'm, I'm getting them down. But the 32, I've heard, is from what I've heard doing research online that the 32 is a little bit more pricier than the 33 just because it's more it's more wanted for for reasons for good reasons I'm pretty sure but this white you can, oh man the white guys I want a skyline in white particularly in white though man let's get a good look at this skyline here guys look you got the nismo ooh, got the nismo on the wheels yeah I like that. A 94 right here with 121,000 miles on it, guys. 60 bands. They're asking 60 bands for her, man. Oh, she is beautiful. She is beautiful. I would cash out today. <laughs> I'd cash out today, guys. Let's try and see what the inside looks like. She has tints on her, so it might be a little hard. And I'm not really trying to get the glare right hand side drive guys beautiful beautiful all imported from japan oh looks like you get you a little uh looks like it comes with a little dash cam in there for you too you don't need that in this boy especially how they drive out here in south florida yeah they drive a little wicked out here in south florida not gonna lie you need you a dash cam when you're riding in one of these boy straight up she's beautiful though got your gt emblem on the side here Damn. She's nice, man. She is a she is a gorgeous, gorgeous car. All right, coming over here, guys. 
let me see what what are we looking at here this is a 180 sx a 96 man 180 sx right here now outside of the yellow fd i told you i would for sure for sure want and obviously the number one pick the white skyline in the front either a 180 sx or a 240 i would do for sure these cars man are are are, are just they're great man they're beautiful beautiful cars beautiful cars and i love how every car they keep the wrap they keep the wrap on the steering wheel they keep the wrap on the seats you know they give you that 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 good fresh new car feel you know what i mean um this is it's 112,000 miles on it you know for a 96 you know like i say guys all these cars are in the 90s and they're roughly around 100,000 miles on on all of them that is really good man that's really fucking good beautiful right here beautiful right here guys get close up on the wheels man yep i would do it in the color the color what is this like a purple yep you can kind of see it right here on the corner there because i'm far away you might mistake it for like a yeah far away you might mistake it for a black but it is definitely a nice dark purple beautiful dark purple i love how the side mirrors look got that little air hole right there she's nice man she is beautiful you don't get this stuff out here like that like you really don't it's one you know it's it's it's, it's a handful it's a hand you know probably a little handful of cars of i'm sorry of dealerships or showrooms i'll say with cars like this maybe a handful not many not many now on to this silver i believe this is another 32 right here yep another 32 94 skyline with 169,000 miles on it so a little up there but hey man a v-spec 2 though a v-spec 2 beautiful beautiful guys and i'm not gonna lie just the way she's sitting it looks like she's ready to take off <laughs> look like she just ready to just do a nice launch right now man she is nice like i said they keep all of the interior covered with the plastic steering wheel seats i really like that i really do like that so that way when you maybe when you get in you'll you'll have like a nice uh i don't know you know probably have that new car smell almost damn near got your emblem right there man the fact that i'm even this close to this 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 many skylines i've never been around this many skylines ever before ever but it is a treat it is a treat because I, I really really hope to own one of these cars one day i really hope to you know just be able to say hey i did it i manifested it i dreamed it i i you know i talked about it i told people about it and it happened that's that's the goals right there man that is legit goals right there man so i'm glad these people are here i'm glad that they you know and I'm from the area. I'm from South Florida. I'm from Fort Myers. Fort Myers is probably like 30 minutes up the highway. You know what I mean? So I'm from this area. So to see this this close to home, to see these type of cars this close to home and, and in the area, like it, it's kind of mind blowing to me. Cause like I said, I'm from here. So it, it I know kind of what to expect. And this was not expected. You know what I mean? So it, it's a treat, man. All right, looks like we have another V-Spec 2 here, guys. This Skyline 32 GTR man and the thing that gets me with these cars guys is the tail lights man i've always been a fan of the bubble the bubble eyed i'll say tail lights man that is what really is the signature look for the skylines and these gtrs i feel like is the you know those those bubble eyed tail lights i love them every time i see one i'm like wow you know the tail lights on them are just fire now it has some bbs wheels on it guys bbs is on this one that is fire that is fire it seems like all of the interior on all of these cars are damn near new like i haven't seen anything inside of these cars that make it look like it's the year that it is 
<laughs> you know, like all of these cars interior are like well, well maintained, man. Very well maintained. So if you guys are in the South Florida area, Naples area, and you guys love GTRs or just JDM cars, cars, right, right hand, right steer driving, all of that, man. You guys need to come check this place out. CS Craft Sports. You guys need to come check them out. Even just car enthusiasts in general, you know, come check them out, man. Come, come, come manifest as well, you know, literally, because, man, this place is this is this place is definitely something to see. Like I said, we're not in Japan. We are in South Florida, and every car I'm looking at is on steering wheel is on the right hand side of the car. You know, that's awesome. That is so awesome to me. 103,000 miles on it, guys. They want 100 bands for it. They want 100 bands for it, man. It's a V Spec 2. V Spec 2, guys. Beautiful, man. One day. Come over here. We got a black skyline. It says. Electra on the back now guys i don't know if that's just a random decal on the back or if that actually means something for this skyline but if anybody can inform me in the comments below and let me know what that is i would really appreciate it she is really nice now as far as the tire selection eh, the rim selection not not that big of a fan got that spider web kind of look they're cool tires now don't get me wrong they're cool looking rims but for the skyline yeah yeah now will i still pull up to the function in this damn right <laughs> for sure man wow look how well maintained the inside i'm gonna say that pretty much almost every time i go to look at in inside the cars guys they're really well maintained like that is crazy to me oh the carbon hood carbon hood guys carbon that is really nice now that's kind of what i want to do to my skyline if i ever get one i want to get a white all white i want an all white skyline with a nismo carbon hood on it if i could ever if i could ever now getting my hands on a nismo carbon hood will probably be damn near trying to find a needle in a haystack but you never know you never never know man Oh man, GT. Dude, this thing is sick. This thing is sick. You got your 93 Nissan. Doesn't say the mileage on this one. Oh, yes, it does. 77,000. 77,000 miles on this one, guys. And they are asking 96. So, pretty much another 100 bands. 100 bands for this one as well. Beautiful, man. Beautiful, man. Skylines. The showroom is usually more full than this from what I've heard. So, but with the amount of cars that they have in here right now is is, is more than enough. You know what I mean? Like for, for a place where you can't really even get your hands on these type of cars. And we have another V-Spec 2 here, guys. The last Skyline in this row. Another V-Spec 2 sitting on BBS. Yes mess with him i mess with him man i like it for sure this is a 94 32 60 000 miles they want 108 bands for it the mileage is stupid low hardly driven i i would say from the year and and you know 60 000 on this i think this is one of the lower mileage i think i've seen on on the skylines this one has one of the lower mileage i, I believe so well, I'm not mistaken. And I do like the silver. I kind of like the darker silver a little better. That one there. But I do like the silver though. I do like that gray. That silver gray on there. It's really nice man. Man. Beautiful cars guys. Beautiful cars man. Like I said, I don't know too much about body kits and, and the names and the brands of the hoods and, and the different, you know, hood scoops and spoilers and stuff like that. But if you guys want to point some out in the comments, let me know, man. That'd be cool. Now, we're going to go to the back row over here, guys. We got the back row. 
that skyline there is probably the hardest skyline in in here we'll go look at that in a second right now we're going to take a look at this nissan skyline gtsr it's at 87 87 skyline right here guys also sitting on some bbs's yeah so they need a little bit of air in that tire sitting on some bbs's as well guys and for an 87 it still has your bubble double bubble tail lights in the back got your skyline nissan motorsports international wow wow guys an 87 skyline dude are you kidding me are you kidding me <laughs> this is a 1987 skyline look at the interior look at the dash look at the, it's like a it's like a mini tower <laughs> It's like a mini tower and it looks like it has all the original radio knobs and everything still in there. Wow. 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 And not to mention, right hand side drive. <laughs> yes, sir, man. That is insane. That is insane, dude. 1987. Hold on. I did not even look at the mileage. I'm very curious on the mileage right now. So they want 50 for it. 71, that, what? Wow. 1987 was 71,000 miles. They might've drove it. They might've drove it like 5,000 miles a year. Not even like, <laughs> I must say this is probably, besides the white one that we checked out, besides the white skyline that we already looked at guys, this probably has to be my favorite one in, in, in the entire showroom. at the purple first of all it's purple guys purple now i don't know why but i do believe i've seen this car on youtube i could be tripping i could be tripping there's a million skylines on youtube but i'm saying that because of this the gold gtr emblem i remember watching a video of somebody's skyline that's been sitting in japan waiting to be imported over here da 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 da, da and it was purple with a golden gtr emblem on it now i don't think this is the same one because the one i looked at was obviously already purchased and it was waiting to be shipped and this one is obviously for sale so but that golden gtr emblem is so sick man wow wow bring us around the side got your 95 man gtr v spec r33 they want 150, 150 bands, 40,000 miles on this car, guys. Insane. Insane. Like I said, guys, CS Craft Sports, man. You guys come check them out if you guys are in the South Florida area and you are a car enthusiast or your bank account just looking like car enthusiast money. You know what I'm saying? You should definitely come here and check these people out, man. Got your gold GTR badge on the back there. Really nice, really nice, really nice. I'm trying to get out the way of the glare there. Got the V spec on the back to let you know what we're working with under that hood. The spoiler, now that is sick. Look at that. GTR on the spoiler, carbon, carbon. Oh man, that is insane, dude. Ah, one day guys, one day I'm going to own one of these cars. I will own one of these cars one day, guys. Look at the inside. Oh, I'm trying to get off the glare. It's so glary. I apologize about that, guys. 
as far as when I'm trying to just show the inside of the vehicles, the glare is pretty bad, but just wanted to show you guys how at least well, well maintained they keep the cars as far as, you know, with the plastic still wrapped around the seats, the steering wheel, stuff like that. And not to mention, ah, I get a little close up on that good Nismo. I love, I don't know why, but I just love the Nismo on the, on the rims. I would have to have the Nismo on my rims as well. Whenever I get my Skyline one day, I have to be able to put the Nismo on there. And I like how they kind of have that Japan. I don't know if that's on purpose, but that red dot is definitely Japan, right? You know, it's Japan vibe. So I like how they, instead of a regular O for Nismo, they put that red dot from the Japan flag on there. That's cool. I've never really seen that before. That's pretty awesome. I like that. We have a four door four door i think this is the only four door skyline that they have in the showroom guys in white <sighs> yes in white it is a 94 111 000 miles on it and they want 23 bands what they want 23 bands for her guys oh my gosh i can almost taste it <laughs> <laughs> the GTS 25T right here, guys. Don't mind the background. That is, they're just in here watching the movie. The owners and the and the car salesmen's in here. You know, they're just chilling, watching the movie and stuff. So don't mind the background, guys. But this car is sick, man. A four door, right hand drive, and they want 23 bands for it. It has 111,000 miles. That is a buy. In white, that's a buy. Chat, I will get this. I will get this. This is, just seeing this right here is definitely like, it gives me hope. <laughs> Chat, seeing this car, in this color, for one, in the color, the mileage, you know, four door, I like four door cars. I am more of a four door car person. I'm not gonna lie, I am, but the color the mileage man and obviously the price tag this car gives me hope gives me hope makes me feel good <laughs> makes me feel good that one day i can have something that says skyline on the back I'll, at this point i don't even care what it is <laughs> so this is cs craft sports here guys in south florida naples this is their inventory this is their showroom um like i said i had a homie tell me about this place a few weeks ago I stopped in here one day after work and just wanted to see what they were talking about, see what it was about. Um, I wanted to come in and get the green light to even come in here today to come do this. You know, I wanted to come in and get the green light to make sure it was okay with them. And they said, not a problem at all. So I definitely want to shout out CS Crafts for letting me come here to make this video um, and, and just, just walk around and just be a part of this, this Japanese car culture, man. Cause I am all for it. I'm all in it, all tuned with it, always online, YouTube doing, research and watching videos on all these cars man like i said i'm not the biggest knowledgeable person as far as body kits and, and different names and brands on you know what goes on the cars and under the hood stuff like that but with over time and me really stepping my foot through the door with this stuff man i'll be on it top of it just like the rest of you car lovers and car enthusiasts out there so but like i said if there was anything i went over on these cars that i didn't really know too much of or Maybe I could have pointed out to you guys. Definitely comment it down below in the, in the comments below, guys. It'll help me out with my knowledge of cars, especially these cars in particular, though. Not just all cars, these type of cars. So, yeah, man, I hope you guys enjoyed me walking around showing you guys what they are about and what kind of cars they have in their inventory. Um, comment below, too, which car was your favorite? Which car was your favorite? Which car do you think that you might be able to obtain one day? Um, like I said, the white skyline over there in that cut in the corner, that's me, that's your boy, for sure. Before I leave, I'm about to go over there and get my own little personal clips and videos of that white one in particularly to keep it in my own, you know, profiles for my manifestation reasons, you feel me? So, but hey man, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, make sure you guys like, share, subscribe. Um, I'll have the link to my actual car YouTube channel in the description below. Um, I'm going to upload the videos on both YouTube channels, but I'm really trying to get the car one auto tune lab. I'm really trying to get that one off the ground, but I'm uploading it on this main one, this main YouTube channel, just to help grow the other one. So, um, 
yeah man i appreciate you guys tuning in like i said i hope you guys enjoy and i will see you guys in the next one Peace, dudes. Thank you.